I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Another wild day for stocks as Bay Street got back to work today after the two-day Christmas break. And Wall Street ran out of steam after having that record-breaking performance Wednesday where the Dow and the S&P set single-day records for point gains. Remember, the Dow was up over 1,000 points in the post-Christmas rally. Today, different story, the Dow and the S&P and NASDAQ all saw quite a bit of profit-taking. Analysts saying that that's normal when we see a market go up as much as it did Wednesday, and it has to sort of balance itself out here. And Bay Street was playing catch-up to what was happening yesterday on the U.S. market. So the TSX actually had a pretty good day, helped out by energy-related stocks, bank shares, and the uh, transportation component of the market. But what is it that's worrying investors right now? Well, it's a whole factor, a whole raft of things leading the way, U.S. interest rates going up, the trade policy between the U.S. and China, the U.S. partial government shutdown, the Mueller investigation, earnings expectations, end-of-year portfolio rebalancing, tax loss selling, low trading volume certainly at this time of year. That leads to more volatility. A lot of investors are actually off on vacation, falling oil prices, and Brexit. Remember that? That is also troubling the global economy going into 2019 and leading to all sorts of volatility. Now, the Canadian dollar has certainly been troubled by a falling price for oil as the price for oil is bouncing around $45 per barrel in the U.S., but the Canadian crude index was down today after a little bit of a respite uh, Wednesday, but uh, still under pressure, and that issue is not going to be solved anytime soon in 2019. So investors have been punishing the Canadian currency, dropped to a 19-month low today at 73 and a quarter cents U.S. You flip that around, and if you're buying American dollars, it's going to cost you $1.36 plus to buy one U.S. greenback. It's around $1.50. 55 for a euro and a dollar 77 right now for the British pound. And going into the new year, Canadians apparently are feeling less confident about the state of the Canadian economy. A nano survey showing that more than 50% think that the economy will worsen or somewhat worsen in the new year. This is again related to the falling price for oil, but it comes back to perhaps politics. We're going into an election year at the federal level, and that could have major implications if the Canadian economy starts to show a little bit of signs of weakening in the new year. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.